Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to do another audio test of my Rode Wireless Go. So stay tuned and see what we get up to. So folks, in this video we're going to test out the audio quality of the Rode Wireless Go plugged into my smartphone. So guys, for this audio test, we're going to need my Samsung Galaxy S9. So uh, that's the first part of the setup, guys. Samsung Galaxy S9. The next part of the setup, the next thing we're going to use is the Rode Wireless Go. So there we have the transmitter and receiver, guys. So that's the next part of the setup. The next thing we're going to use, guys, is a smartphone holder. So I'm going to use my Ulanzi smartphone holder now this is actually a very good smartphone holder that screws down to clamp all metal construction really well made really solid but this one actually has a cold shoe on the top I don't know well the camera's going to pick that up but it actually has a cold shoe on the top guys so we can mount the Rode wireless go into there very good recommend one of them guys if you uh, want a smartphone holder right so now normally guys when you get your microphone any sort of microphones are probably going to come with that so I don't know why it's going to focus so what we got there guys that is a if it's going to focus come on come on yeah right so there we have a TRS to TRS uh, 3.5 mil plug so just a standard sort of TRS to TRS lead really uh, that would sort of thing that comes with most microphones so one end will plug into your phone and uh, your camera sorry and the other end will plug into your microphone so that's a standard lead, but because we're plugging into a smartphone, we can't use that one, guys, because it won't work. So what we have to use is one of these. So I don't know why it's going to show up. So on one end, guys, we have the TRS to TRS there. But on this end, this is the end that you're going to plug into your phone if it will focus. Yeah, it's a TRRS or tip ring ring sleeve, whereas that's a tip ring sleeve. So this is the end that you plug into your microphone, the tip ring sleeve, and that's the end that goes into your phone. So that's the bits we're going to be needing, guys. Now, that's my uh, adapter lead. Now, depending on your phone, the type of phone, uh, you might need different types of leads. So, uh, you know, don't, uh, don't take that as being 100% for working on your phone, guys, because uh, it will work on mine, but... Uh, Depending on your phone, you might need a different lead. Anyway, guys, what I'm going to do now is swap everything over and uh, switch over to uh, the smartphone. We'll try a couple of uh, tests. We'll do uh, with the built-in microphone on the phone, and then we'll plug in the Rode Wireless Go. Now, I have used the built-in microphone on the phone, and to be honest, it's not that bad. But uh, we're going to try both of them. Anyway, guys, so just bear with me while I uh, swap everything around. So folks, here we are. We're on the Samsung Galaxy S9. So we're using the front facing camera and we're on its built in microphone. So I think the audio is quite good. So uh, as expected, are you ready for this one? So Mary had a little lamb. She also had a bear. I've often seen her lamb, but never seen a bear. So that's the front facing microphone and we're sort of, yeah, about arm's length away from it, guys. So it's probably working quite well. But if I uh, move away from it, then uh, this is where the uh, built-in microphone fails. So I'm going to uh, walk into another room, guys. So I'm in another room. I just walk past Sarah, she's playing Candy Crush. So I'm not going to ask what level you're on, because you're on probably quite high level, aren't you? Yeah, so she's sniggering away there. Anyway, guys, I've come back into uh, the same room as the camera, so the audio will be getting better. So there you go, guys. That was the Samsung Galaxy S9 with its built-in microphone. So I'm now going to swap over to the Rode Wireless Go. So guys, we're now on the Rode Wireless Go. So it's just up here, I don't know if you can see that, but just on the Rode Wireless Go, guys. So the gain settings on the Rode Wireless Go, they're actually at maximum. Uh, that's sort of the same settings that I use on my Canon EOS M50. So I'm not sure, it might be overdriving, but... Uh, I'll see that when uh, when we uh, look at the video. So guys, as I said, the Rode Wireless Go. So, are you ready for this one? Mary had a little lamb, she also had a bear. I've often seen a lamb, but never seen a bear. So uh, now, with the Rode Wireless Go, I can actually leave the scene. See you in a minute, guys. I'm gonna leave the scene and uh, walk into the other room. So I'm now in uh, 
my living room so I'm hoping that the audio uh, won't be breaking up it is line of sight so uh, again we are uh, watching Karen you're playing Candy Crush again are we yes of course of course so uh, I'm not going to ask what level we're on we'll keep that for uh, a holiday vlog so uh, Karen is playing Candy Crush again guys so I'm now going to walk back into uh, the conservatory with the cameras so I'm just about to uh, get back in front of the camera so guys we're now in front of the camera so uh, now that's the advantage of the Rode Wireless Go is that uh, we can move around and uh, not be tethered by a cable. So there you go guys, that was the Rode Wireless Glow Go plugged into my Samsung Galaxy S9. So I uh, hope you've liked this video and this little audio test. So if you have, please like and subscribe and you catch you on the next one. So bye bye for now guys. Mm -hmm.